What's up, Nodejust developers? In this video, I'm going to share with you our five steps plan for building and launching mobile applications fast. This plan is developed internally at Nodejust Dev to help us launch 10 applications in 2025. And I hope it's going to be helpful for you as well. I actually use this same plan step-by-step -step previous week to build and launch an application in just three days from idea to market in only three days. And today I'm going to share with you all the steps that goes into this. So if you're ready, let's get started. Every idea goes through a five steps phases. The first one starts with research, then planning, building, pre-launch, and eventually launching it to the store. As you can see, everything starts with research because a good research will save you a lot of time and will ensure that you're building something that people actually work. So you wouldn't spend months or years building an application only to deploy it and find out that nobody wants to use it. The main part of our research phase is focused around keyword research. The goal here is to find keywords that has a lot of popularity, meaning that people are searching for, and here we're striving for something at least with 20 popularity, and at the same time, having not impossible difficulty. And difficulty here is how many other applications are competing for the same keywords and how powerful are those applications. Because if you would start building a language learning application, it would probably be very difficult to compete with players like Duolingo. So the goal here is to find good keywords with a proper intent, meaning that the user is trying to solve a specific problem. And those keywords, we're looking for something that has a popular team over 20 and a difficulty less than 60. This would be a good keyword to start with. Then I'm doing a competitor uh, analysis where I'm looking at the keywords that I found and I dive deeper into competitors of that keyword to find out what are other keywords that they are ranking for. This is a great way to find keywords that you haven't thought about and it helps you expand the potential keywords. And in a lot of cases, this is actually how I find new ideas as well. Having a list of potential keywords for an app idea, I start thinking about the application metadata. Here I'm talking about title, subtitle, and the brand name. I know down this data in my Notion and I continue to the next step. The next step in our process is planning the application. Now that we know the keywords that we are trying to rank for, the keywords should be a very good indication of what the application should do. So if a keyboard is something like PDF generator, probably the application should be a PDF generator. So in the planning phase, my goal is to plan the main features of applications that I'm going to build. And here I'm trying to focus on differentiating from must have features to nice to have features. In the version one, I'm going to focus only on the must have features. I'm going to build them really well, really polished, but they're going to be limited in amount of features. Like I'm not going to have an application with 10 mediocre features. I'm going to have an application with one or two main features, but they're going to be working very, very well. During the planning phase, you can sketch out some mockups. I'm not doing that because I really try to get this done with some AI tools, like once I start coding, but sketching some stuff, especially when you have more complicated flows is going to help you a lot in the next phases. Another important planning thing is your monetization strategy. How are you going to monetize? And here I'm talking about, is it gonna be in-app subscriptions? Most probably that's in our case, the goal is to monetize it with in-app subscriptions. Then the next question, what's gonna be the price? You can look at competitors and try to see what are they pricing the applications. At the moment, we didn't do a lot of testing. So we are looking at what is working for others and we are going with a strategy of pricing. Having two plans, a weekly that is priced anywhere from five to $8 together with a three days free trial and then an annual plan that is priced anywhere from $25 to $35. But besides pricing and plans, another important thing is to uh, plan on what are you going to put behind a paywall. So this is important because it's going to um, differentiate like how well 
you are going to convert users into paying users. So what is going to be your free features and what is going to be your paid features? Now that we have a rough plan, uh, don't invest a lot of time here. Just have a quick plan, write it down and move on to the next step. You don't need months or you don't need like business plans of thousands of pages, like probably one or two pages is enough. And for example, previous week for that application, the first two phases, the research and the plan was done in probably three to four hours. So have a quick plan, have a vision, a strategy, and move on to the next phase. Because what you are trying to do here is move faster and with every iteration, learn from your mistakes. Now moving on to the next phase. Phase three is building the MVP. Now that you have a plan based on the keywords that you have researched, go ahead and implement the main one or two features in the applications. Again, try to prioritize and cut down on things that are not important for the version one, because you can always come back and improve application. What you're trying to do now is to validate if an application like this is going to have potential on the market. So focus on what's important now and then you can improve later. In order to speed this process even more, we found out that with every application that we are building, we are writing a lot of common code, such as onboardings, setting screens, profiles, in-app ratings, and a lot of these configurations. So what we decided to do uh, is to create a starter project that we are using it internally. And the starter project is going to have all these common features. It's going to speed up how fast we, we can build applications so that when we are building an application, we focus on the main feature and we are not thinking that much about like onboarding screen settings and so on. The application that I launched previous week was the first application that used our template that I've been working on for a couple of months before. And to be honest, it saved me so much time because I managed to build the whole application in just one day. And probably I had to work like two or three more days in order to implement everything else that was already implemented in the template. So I quickly focused on what matters most and I move on to the next step. The next step is the pre-launch phase. In the pre-launch phase, we are managing a lot of things, but the main objective is to get our application ready to be published on the store. Here, I'm talking about installing and setting up all the important third-party providers, such as Sentry that I'm using for crash reporting and monitoring what's happening in the application. Here, I'm talking about analytics tools so that I can see what our users doing, where they are falling off and so on. Here, I'm talking about setting up the in-app store review prompt because asking users to review our application after we finished a successful action is super important because reviews is how your application is going to uh, grow in rankings on App Store. Here I'm setting up revenue cut with all the in-app subscriptions. I'm setting up the build pipeline uh, over the air updates using Expo, yeah, yes. Here I'm working on the icon, on the splash screen, on the onboarding screens, on all the metadata. Basically I'm polishing everything uh, in the application to make it ready to submit it to the store. I'm not going to get too deep into this step because there is a lot of steps. I have internally a checklist that I'm going like check, 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 check in order to make sure that all the applications are following the best practices that we are developing internally. And with a template that we are using for the application, a lot of these things are already set up. I just need to create projects, add the keys, and it makes it a lot easier for us. After this phase is finished, I move to the ne next phase. The next phase is launching the application. And in my notes, in the process, I have two bullet points like screenshots, app metadata and store presence. But actually this step is one of the longest process. And sometimes it can even take more time than uh, building the actual application. Here I'm talking about creating the screenshots for the application. A lot of things goes into the screenshots, into building beautiful screenshots and not only beautiful screenshots, but screenshots that convert. Nowadays, Apple is indexing the words that you're using in the screenshots for the application keywords. So it, go, it takes even more 
thought process to make sure that the screenshots are really well done. Like screenshots are super, super important for the performance of your application on the App Store because this is the first thing that the users see when they go to your application and it impacts the conversion rate drastically. When it comes to App Store and Play Market, I internally prioritize deploying first things first on the App Store, just because even though the applications that I'm building are working both on Android and iOS, the process of getting them on the market takes time and also the process of updating everything adds a little bit more friction. And the goal for me is to have a portfolio of a lot of applications. So I'm thinking that initially I'm going to prioritize App Store so that I can move faster. And if I see that some of these applications are working well, it would probably take half a day or an evening to get them published on the Play Market as well. The whole process of getting the application approved on the store is uh, not very easy. We are met with a lot of rejections from App Store. If you um, published any application on the store, you probably know what I'm talking about. App Store is very strict around the rules and we need to, to comply with everything and usually takes two to five rounds of iterations to fix issues from the App Store. But once the application is launched on the store, the whole process is finished and now we are just monitoring. Usually the applications in the first couple of days up to a week are going to get a boost from the App Store. So it's the moment when you're going to get some new users and you're going to be able to look at the analytics to see if everything is working fine, if nothing is crashing, if the users are accomplishing their goals, either leaving reviews and so on. After that, usually in terms of App Store, the application is going to die down for probably half a year. It doesn't have a lot of downloads, but later after half a year, it already, it again starts to pick up. So the process is just wait, monitor, see what's happening, learn from the mistakes, know down, improve your process and go back to build your next application or go back to improving the existing one. If you want to launch your own application but don't know where to start or maybe you feel that you're not ready enough either from technical side or from business skills, then I have a right solution for you. I'm happy to announce that we're bringing back not just Incubator, a 10 weeks program where me and my team will coach you to build and launch your own mobile application. You will follow the same playbook that we are using internally to build and launch profitable mobile applications. There is a lot of one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching here and for that reason we have a capacity only for 10 projects and if you want to be one of them make sure to go to notjust.dev slash incubator fill in the form to join the waitlist and I will let you know when the applications are open. I'll see you there. So that's the whole process we are following right now. A lot of these things are still work in progress and with every iteration that we're doing, with every applications that me and Lucas are building, we're going back, updating Git, taking notes of our learnings, improving our starter, improving our template, improving our best practices, sharing all of this knowledge across the whole portfolio and hoping to learn and grow a successful app portfolio in the upcoming years. This is a huge journey. This is a long journey ahead of us. We are just getting started, but we're very excited about this. And I cannot wait to share more updates like this with you in the future. So if you're interested to know more about our journey, let us know what you'd like me to talk about and maybe we can do another video about this. All right, thank you very much and have a nice day. Happy coding, bye-bye.